open for business, but with a few restrictions. That's the word from Governor Greg Abbott for certain retailers across the state. This, along with looser restrictions on surgery and state parks, give us a little glimmer of hope. 12 News reporter Mackenzie Hinkle spoke with one business owner who's trying to navigate this all. Howell's Furniture, like many, has been closed due to the pandemic, but thanks to the governor's executive order and some clarification from city and county officials, they are back open and ready to serve. Not in a million years. Here, let me hand you your sofa. Curbside pickup for furniture. That's not a real easy thing to do for sure. So no, this is all, we're flying by the seat of our pants trying to figure out new ways to do business and um, to just keep everybody safe. It's the new normal for people all over the world. Even though the furniture store got the green light to open, the owner, Sean Hanley, says they still have to be cautious. Obviously, this is something that no, none of us have ever experienced before, so it's really hard to navigate through. And I feel like the biggest burden for us as owners is we have 100 families that we support and just making sure we make the right decision for those people and to make sure that, that uh, we take care of our employees is the hardest thing for us. Governor Greg Abbott announced on Friday that if stores can provide what he calls retail to go strategies, they could reopen, meaning curbside pickup or delivery. A more strategic approach is required to ensure that we don't reopen only to have to shut down once again. For Howells, they were recently deemed essential, meaning customers can go into the store. But Hanley says they continue to enforce guidelines. We are adhering to the six-foot rule as well as the one adult per household, which is hard when you're shopping for furniture. You usually want to shop together. She says they have even taken it a step further and offer only appointments between the hours of 10 and 12. So if there's customers that don't feel comfortable coming in when there may be other people from the public in, they can call and make an appointment and technically be one of the only ones in the store at that time. Doing anything they can to protect not only their employees, but customers as well. Hanley says most of the people buying furniture right now are still rebuilding from Harvey and Imelda. Now the governor is set to announce more plans to reopen on April 27th. Mackenzie Hinkle, 12 News.